When we talk about sex education, I suppose we usually think of awkward teenagers in the classroom giggling away with all their classmates, but not today. There's a new campaign, this is in Derbyshire, targeting sexually active pensioners, and it's offering them free condoms. This is to try and tackle the rise in sexually transmitted infections. Is this the answer, though? Or should they be given sex education refresher classes? I would like to go to our unofficial spokesperson for the elderly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they could have asked Joan Bakewell, or but you. they got me. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, basically, they're saying, you know, it, with the rising divorce rates, People are now out there dating again and, and often online and things. Yes. And that women are saying, well, I can't get pregnant anymore. A lot of men have had vasectomies. They're going, I can't get anyone pregnant anymore. Hurrah, we can all have lots of, you know, unprotected sex. And this is where the problem lies. Well, I've got two problems with this initiative, if that's the right <laughs> word. One is that they have called it Jiggle Wiggle. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's called Jiggle Wiggle. I'm still trying to work it Are out. Are you still Jiggle Wiggling, Janet? <laughs> as I said on the show last week, as long as I've got a pulse, I've got a sex life. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite so, right. I think it's totally patronising. I really, really do. And just to be serious for a moment, there is a rise uh, in the cases of gonorrhea amongst men from uh, 157 to 216 last year, and that's in the whole of the UK. But why launch a campaign really giving out free condoms for the sake of 216 people? I just think it's getting their priorities uh, completely wrong. And at the same time, this is the same NHS that is handing out Viagra to the over <laughs> 65s. So they pres uh, prescribe in Viagra, and if you ask me, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. <laughs> <laughs> if you pardon the expression. <laughs> you pardon the expression, but it is, at the very best, a lack of joined well, up thinking. Well, the thing thinking. is, I... I, I... I have to say, I do object to free condoms. I'm thinking, come on, seriously, they're not that expensive. If you want to have an active sex life, I'm sure you can afford your own well, condoms. Well, can I say another thing, Ruth? there are so Ruth, many other things that they the could NHS... Go, they could go to the supermarket and buy a packet of cling film. It's always on offer. <laughs> <laughs> it just... That, it, it, <laughs> But there's clearly, there is clearly a problem that, that they need I will need not be educating. telling my children to go and buy cream film. <laughs> Don't do it, Don't kids. try that at home. Get the real condom. Don't try that at home, people. <laughs> um, what do you think, Stacey? Um, I think I'm, I'm with you, Janet, on this. I think that, yes, we should always try and encourage people to practise safe sex, however that might be. But like you said, Ruth, do we really need to be giving away free condoms to the over-60s when we took um, advice and promotion on sexual health and spending fell by 35% in a year between 2013-14 and 17-18. So we've stopped pumping money into that place where the teenagers need it because apparently less teenage pregnancies are happening. And we're now saying, oh, let's pump some more in for the over 60s. It just doesn't add up to me. Also, but surely it would be like... cheaper that if people are getting sexually transmitted infections, the amount of time and money it would cost to treat them for those infections, is this not a way of making... It's a preventing... Preventing them but getting to that stage. there's bigger problems. Like, I, last year I spoke to lots of different people who were struggling to afford to buy sanitary products. Mm. And that's not a choice. These women have periods and can't afford yes. to maintain their periods. Mm. So why are we not helping a scheme yes. to fund that mm -hmm. before we... There are lots of problems that need to So, Brenda, what do you think? Free I'm condoms I'm somebody the who's been looking forward to a free bus pass when I reach 60. <laughs> and I, I think if you've got a free condom while you're at it, then it's all the merrier. <laughs> you've got so many free rides, you just have another free ride. I, I think it's brilliant. But my generation, <laughs> my generation of pensioners, we have got the free bus passes, we have got the fuel allowances, we have got a lot of free things already. And just to be serious, for a moment, we're pampered because politicians want to appeal to us. They want us to vote for them. But they're doing everything to keep us happy. And giving out free condoms is a joke. Yeah. Completely but maybe there's joke. some education needed. Maybe, I don't know, what a camp... You know, well, like, what could you teach me adverts? about sex? Can I... People, please <laughs> write in and tell me well, by the age clearly of 72... Nothing. <laughs> clearly not... nothing, but there are people out there who maybe are a little more how rusty than you. How do you get it you, to Janet? them, though? <laughs> it's how you get... Well, in maybe, a school, you know, you know that you can send a programme out and to all schools. How do you get it well, to... Well, we used to have, we used to have TV ads, didn't we? The, do you think Meals on Wheels should come now? 
now well, around now with a postcard as well. I'm just trying to come up with initiatives to wheels get this on wheels with a leaflet. Yes, yeah. with a leaflet and a condom with your lunch. Comes with your beef <laughs> 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 <laughs>